Hello YouTube, my name's Jason and this is Limeware. Today I'm going to be teaching you about tables in HTML. And the reason I want to teach you about tables in HTML before I get into anything else is because generally you want to have your layout set out first and then you want to throw in your other stuff inside of your layout. So I usually make my layout first. And that's, I usually use uh, tables to make out a pretty firm grasp of what I want the layout to be. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go into the file manager inside of here which I already had loaded right here and there's an upload button right here and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be overwriting this index.html file each time so we'll be uploading the index.html file but before we do that I want you to go ahead and I want you to go to notepad plus plus and I want you to get this notepad and just click on the newest one just go to download and download the newest one I don't believe they have one for uh, for Macintosh if you're using a Mac I say use Dreamweaver or just a normal notepad you can use a normal notepad but I like the notepad plus plus because it has a lot of little features that support uh, show you what your syntax looks like inside of a uh, the notepad itself but you can use any text editor to edit um, for HTML files so once you have that downloaded I want you to go ahead and I want you to open it and if you notice I have it already set up I have this doc type dot html file and I also have this html my headers and my body and then I have this table set up um, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to delete this table and I'm going to show you exactly what I did when I was creating it or maybe I won't delete it I'll just show you if you notice I have this head opening and head closing tab tag right in here. The reason I'm not going to delete it and rewrite it is because I want to save time. So I have this table tag hit opening and inside of this table tag I have this tag that says TR and what that means is table row. And if I open this up and if you're using Notepad++ you can hit Control Alt Shift R if you're using Google Chrome and it'll open up in Google Chrome. And this is my little table that I have created in here. I'll just shift this over just a little bit and the table rows are the rows that do this right here so we have th three table rows actually the table rows are what does this right here and we have three table rows this is a column and a column is basically your table data sets up your columns we have two columns set up in our table data and the only reason we have two columns is because we have this column right here that has two sets so we have three table rows and we have all this table data and that's what TD means just means table data and these are what sets up your columns inside of here I have header because I'm going to have this as the head part of my uh, layout of my page. And I have article, link, and footer just because I want to know what I'm going to have these set up to look like. It's going to be very basic setup for this. And that's pretty much uh, how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and start teaching you attributes. That way we can go ahead and set up some attributes to make the layout for this page. The first attribute you're going to want to learn about is the border attribute inside of table. The border attribute is you basically come inside of your uh, opening tag, not your closing tag. You never put this inside of your closing tag. And you go to the very end right before you get to this and you put all your attributes a space away from the name. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the tables... Uh, the ta the attribute uh, attribute and the attribute name well the attribute name and the attribute value the value goes inside of these double quotes or these single quotes 
I suggest using double quotes unless you're using something weird like you're using an AKA like Jason, AKA like um, Big D Jones or something like that. And then you would want to use the single quotes on the outside just like this was an AKA and then you would do something like that. But it's not necessary with the border tag because the border tag can only have one value and that's one or zero. And whenever we save this and we come back over here and refresh it, now we had this nice little border around our uh, table. So now we're actually starting to see the table that we're creating. The next attribute you're going to want to learn is inside of the table data and it's basically you have row span and you have column span and you also have header in case you want to give little names to each one of your uh, table datas but we're not going to do that so let's go ahead and do table data and we're going to do row span because what we want is we want this header to come all the way across over two spans and the way you do that is you choose how many rows you want it to span right now it's set to one but if we set it to two and we save it and come over here and refresh it now you see it has a bunch of mess and the reason that happened is because it set the row spam if we change this to column spam it'll actually fix this problem because we want that header to come straight across like I said and that's basically what we did right here we got header it comes straight across and now we're actually starting to see a format of the page and you can also do like I said you can do table data not table data but um, and we want to come over here and we want to set up a column span a uh, row span on this one just so I can show you it but we're not going to keep this one and you can set this to 2 and equal and refresh and now you have this links coming straight all the way down so now that's how you would basically set up the row span and the column span so the next step that we're going to use is we're going to go ahead and delete this right here because we want that to be that length and we're going to just set this one right here to go all the way across the bottom of the page so we're going to set this to column span and make this equal to 2. And now we're just going to save it and refresh. And now we have our basic layout that we want. And we want this to span out to be bigger. So the next step we're going to do. Actually, that's all I'm going to do in this tutorial. And the next tutorial will start... Uh, setting up other things inside of it like links and all that stuff right now we're not going to mess with any of that because I want to make this a strictly an HTML5 tutorial and back whenever we was using XHTML and HTML we could actually expand this stuff to be bigger with just using the table elements but we can no longer do that in HTML5 because it's no longer supported but you can do it in uh, CSS and I'll show you how to do it in CSS in the CSS tutorials but right now I just want to set up items inside of my table and I want to make little manipulations to it to get it to where I want basically all we're going to do is be setting tags and setting attributes in these tutorials and whenever we get to CSS then we'll start making it look pretty and stuff like that but right now that's all I'm going to do in this tutorial thank you for watching my name is Jason this was Lineware please comment, rate, and subscribe and have a great day